Okay, so we have a wind turbine. And its height to the center of the, they're talking about the center of the wind turbine in this question. This is 94. Then there's going to be blades. Okay, and this blade they're saying is 24 meters in length. So if this is 94, it's going to go up to the maximum of, this is 24, so it's going to be 118. The total length is 118. That's the maximum height. And the, the minimum height is going to be, okay, uh, 94 minus 24, so that gives you 70. Okay, so then the graph will look like this. Okay, and let's assume that we're starting from here and we're spinning up. So we can start from 94. Okay, we're going up, down, okay. And it says to, in the part B, it says to draw the graph for four cycles. So that's one cycle, two cycle, three cycle, four cycles. And the period, because the frequency um, is 24 revolutions per minute, the period is going to be 1 over 27. Okay, so one um, revolution, how long does it take? You have to do 1 divided by 27 revolutions per minute, which gives you 1 over 27 of a minute. So that's how long it takes to do one rotation, one full cycle. So that means that right there is 1 over 27. This is going to be 2 over 27. And that right there is 3 over 27, which is reducible to 1 over 9. And this is 4 over 27. Okay. And the sine function, and this is a sine function, but we're starting from the middle. Is going to be 24 sine of, okay, and the number in front here is three. Uh, we can obtain by doing 360 over k, right? The k is the number that we need to put here. Of course, the vertical shift is 94, and to get k, we just have to make that equal to the period. And k is going to equal to 9720. Okay, so. 9720 in there. That's the answer to A. This is the answer to B. And part C, determine all times in the first cycle, the tip of the blade is 100 meters above the ground. So for part C, okay, we just have to make this here. Equal to 100. So if that's 94, and 100 will be about there. We're looking for these two times. So when does that happen? And when does that happen? Okay. And the way we do that is we first isolate the sign 9720T. So we get 24 Here we get 6 if you subtract 94 from both sides. So you get sine 9720t is equal to right 1 over 4 if you divide both sides by 24. So 9720t will then equal to sine inverse of 1 over 4. And this is roughly 14.5, 14 14 okay? 14.5 and t then will equal to 14.5 over 9720 0.0015 so that right there is going to be you know 0 0.0015 and this one right here right, is going to be so this see this middle here that's exactly half of this okay so let me just bring it here half of that is 1 over 27 times by 2 which is 54 and you got a minus 0 0.0015. So this value and this value, that's when the height of the blade is going to be exactly 100. Okay, assuming that okay, we model, we can model it by starting the height of the tip right here. Of course, if you start from the bottom here, then we might have to use the cosine. So we get a slightly different answer depending on where you initially start.